we had the announcement today in the press conference. What an odd time to announce it. Not when MVP won Flanders or before. Giro first rest day, Alpes and Phoenix have announced that they have applied for World Tour status next year. Uh, there's a set number of World Tour licenses, 18. There's currently 18 World Tour teams. Arkea, I think I understand, have applied. Now, Alperson have, have definitely applied or said they have. That's 20 teams. Two teams will have to miss out, and Alperson have the most points, so they will be going to World Tour as long as they have the financial requirements met, which I assume they do. Why do you think they've applied, Benji? They've had the best position in cycling for ages where they get auto invites. They don't have to go to races they don't want to, and they can just target big, high-prestige events with MVDP. thing is, there, there's never the security that that system will remain the same in pro team level where the first two will get automatic invites for the rest of like eternity. There's going to come a point when UCI might actually come in and say, okay, perhaps we, were, we are giving too many benefits to those uh, top two pro teams and therefore change the system. So I think the secure way is to actually be a Walter team. But next to that, I think the status of being a Walter team might help them improve with sponsorship related stuff and so forth. Because if you go to a to a new company that is not 100% uh, knowledge with how cycling works and you say, oh, I've got a cycling team, we're doing well, but we're a second division team. <laughs> it sounds a bit more lame than saying, oh, we're, we're a Walter team, top level, just like all those other big teams, we are like that. So I don't know. I think there's something in that status as well. But uh, I do want to note that why does Alpsen always like pretend like something's not happening for months? Everybody knows that they applied for, for a Walter team for months already. And now they're announcing it like a few months later. And yeah, I, I think the hype for it is completely gone for me. Well, yeah, they seem to, they're like, oh, is MVP doing this? Like, I don't know, they try to cloak things in mystery. It's like, just no one cares, just just say it. Apparently, they're also, and PCS is also already calling them Alperson de Koenig. So Phoenix are not be, remaining as the title sponsor. I don't know when that kicks in exactly. It might be midway through this year. But Phoenix, well, no, De Koenig were obviously the sponsor of De Koenig Quickstep. Now it's Quickstep Buffer Vinyl. And then in terms of sponsor, Carousel, Sudal are going from Lotto to Quickstep. And it's all going to be very, very confusing for the sports or commentators. What needs to change about Alperson, though, Benji? I look at this team, apart from Jay Vine and Tobias Bias, sometimes they are very, very one dimensional. This does not look like a proper World Tour team to me. Yes, certainly, but there's other World Tour teams that also don't look like a proper World Tour team to me. But I got to be honest, this is a, a team that has a few stars and about 60 to 70% of the team is not really the riders that you'd be expecting in a World Tour team, in my personal opinion. And I think that's going to improve over the years. I think you can't expect the team to change from pro team status to World Tour status and immediately have all the riders necessary for that level. I think they've also got the benefit of having their dev team that also grows proper talents from young and therefore can bring up talent that can fold into this uh into this world tour team then eventually but you're right it's very one-dimensional climbers there's very limited uh, aspects to it there you're right jay vine tobias Bayer, and you can also perhaps count the likes of a Maurice, uh, who once got i think four fawn on planche de Belfi or something in the tour as as a climber these days in that team because that's kind of it like there's not too much more in there. So that's an area where they will have to improve if they want to compete in more races and if they want to actually do for uh, go for GC in plenty of these World Tour races, they will have to ride next year. And they are already riding tons of like World Tour races, but they're going to have to ride through the Romany and so forth, stuff like that. Ah, I don't know. They need more climbers and there's, there's definitely riders on the market for that. But to be honest, it's such a limited transfer market this year when it comes to gc riders and mountain domestics that i don't think it will be super easy to make that transition in one year only so i expect that to take a while yeah and it makes sense that they've applied that as benji said the uci could turn around one day and say use it or lose it with the wild card you know the point of this system is to get yourself up to world tour if you're good enough not to just sit in that uh auto wild card zone and as Benji said, 
you cannot, if you're a pro team, signing a, you can't sign a three-year sponsorship deal and guarantee Tour de France participation. You can say, hey, we're really likely to, but you can't guarantee it. And so that makes a difference when you're a World Tour team. You can sign on the dotted line with your title sponsor and say, we will be from 23 to 25 at the Tour de France, at the Vuelta, at the Giro, at every monument every year, even if Van der Poel gets injured, because that's the risk. MVP gets injured, Malia leaves, Philipson has a down year or leaves or gets injured. All of a sudden, Total Energy come up, UNOX come up. And it's not looking like you get the auto wild cards for everything or Lotto or Israel. So it makes sense to go World Tour. But as I said, finds their best climber and GC prospect, but they'll need to fill that out a little bit more. Ben Tullet, they let go. And I don't know what they're doing with Philipson. Melier is rumored, rumored to leave. Uh, but yeah, interesting for Alperson. Thanks as always to Zwift for supporting the Lantern Recycling Podcast. As I've said, they make your online cycling training fun. They have for Benji and myself. If you want to check out Zwift, you can go to Zwift.com for a free seven-day trial through the link down below. And maybe follow them on Instagram as well to be kept abreast of the news happening with Zwift, which there's some pretty big news coming this year with Zwift.